Hello again. Uh, we are here at PassTheCassie.com uh, trying to help you pass the Cassie with as many examples as I possibly can get in here before the Cassie exam. So um, there's a couple things that you just have to remember and um, during your exam uh, you do the brain dump. Uh, I talk about that in previous posts where uh, you just write down everything you should remember and all the equations, things that, I mean, anything, anything. And two of the things here, um, we're gonna be talking about the area of a triangle. We're gonna need to memorize that equation. And then also the volume of a box or any kind of cube, uh, just like this one here. Uh, so let's get right into it. Uh, number 20, 124 here, it says, what is the area of the triangle shown above? And then they give you 15 as the base, 11 as a hypotenuse here, and then eight as the height. Uh, so the equation, and again, you write this in the uh, brain dump section, right? As you get to uh, solving or beginning your test, you just want to write down this formula here. So you'd write one half base times height, and that equals the area of a triangle. And that's, again, just something you, you have to remember, there's really no way around it. Uh, but I'll help you out here. Uh, we have one half times the base, and the base is just like it sounds, it's at the base, at the bottom of this triangle. So I take that number and I go ahead and plug it in for the base. Uh, the height, the height is um, not the 11, okay? 11 is the hypotenuse, okay? That's the slant there, you don't wanna uh, mix that up. Uh, so let's go ahead and plug in the height, which in this case is, eight okay and this again is the area of a triangle so um, I'm going to multiply uh, I do the easy ones first like if you do one half times 15 you're gonna get 7.5 so in order to avoid that I'm gonna go to multiply 15 times 8 first um, and again don't just because you see numbers that you don't know how to do right off the top of your head uh, just go ahead and do it off to the side 15 times 8 0 carry the 4 I'm uh, 120 because 8 times 1 is 8 plus 4 is 120. So this 15 times 8 is now going to be 120. Okay, and I still have the half out here. Now, the half, you can multiply it uh, by doing 0. 0.5 times 120, or you just think, okay, what is half of, half is multiple of is multiplication, so half of 120, that would be 60. Okay, and that's the answer. It's 60 square units. Okay, and that all I did again, substitute in the right spot. You've got your equation, area of a triangle. Okay, now volume. Uh, volume of a shoebox or a cube or any kind of rectangular prism. Uh, here's the equation. Volume equals length times width times height. Because that's what they're asking for. What is the volume of the shoebox? So length, let's go ahead and call this one length here. So in the L, I plug in 15 times the width. I'm gonna go ahead and say the width is five, plug in five, and then times the height, and the height in this case is nine. And again, these are inches, uh, don't worry about that, they already have your uh, units covered there. So. Let's do 15 times five again. I don't know how to do it in my head, so I'm gonna go ahead and just write it off to the side here. 15 times five, five carry the two, five times one is five, plus two is seven. So this guy right here is now going to be 75 times nine. Now if you look at your answers already, that's too high, it's not gonna be A. It's not gonna be 75, because I still have some multiplication to do. So narrowed it down that's always better to eliminate things that you know aren't going to be the answer you're left with C and D so let's go ahead and do 75 times 9 5 times that's going to be 5 5 times 9 carry the 4 9 times 7 is 63 plus 4 you're going to get 67 okay so I multiplied here 675 so that is in fact my answer your answer would be D so again, like I mentioned before, uh, you just really have to uh, remember certain things. And it's not always the case. Sometimes they'll give you the equation, and that's fine too. Uh, you can 
they give it to you, then it's even easier because they just plug it in. But other times, it doesn't really work. So uh, you need to remember uh, volume, the, the equation for volume. Uh, you need to remember the equation for um, triangles and circles and things like that. Uh, so again, if you um, want any more information, go visit pastthecassie.com. Or if you're already on my website, go ahead and scroll through as many videos as, you, as you'd like. And uh, good luck on your exam.